Live from the Sweet and Snack Show. Jeremy Weiss here live from the Sweet and Snack Show. We're here with James. He is the founder, co-founder of Treating Cards. All right. So, James, you're around 37. You look young. Um, you're 13, yes, right? Amazing. I, remember, I think when I was 13, I was playing video games, and you're here at the <laughs> Sweet and Snack Show doing, doing business. So talk about the idea, the, the origin. Well, it all kind of started when I was about seven years old, and I wanted an Xbox desperately. Oh, I knew video games. Were oh, yeah. Bad. Video games have to evolve. Like, they <laughs> surround everything. And so... When I was seven, I would go over to my friend Parker Barley's house. I would play Call of Duty from like the moment school got out till like 10 o'clock at night. And my friend would always get so mad at me. He's like, just get your own Xbox. Like I'm tired of playing Call of Duty every day and every time you come down. And so I'm like, you know what, fine. I'll try to get my own Xbox. So one of the first things I did was my parents would go buy snacks. They would put it in the pantry. And then for them to get a snack out of it, I would charge them like a dollar for a snack, even though they already paid for it. It was like, and my dad didn't, he didn't. It's say like a toll. Yeah, basically it's all. <laughs> my dad, he didn't sit well with that. And so what was the final straw for my mom to come aboard and help me and see the potential in this was basically on Halloween, I collected candy. Me and my little eight-year-old self, I was just walking around going to house to house collecting candy. And as I collect this candy, my mom's like, you got so much candy. Like, what are you going to do with it all? And she knew I don't, want, I don't like eating that much candy. And so she knew something else was going on. And so I get back to my house the next day we went to Walmart we got these tiny little like reindeer plastic bags because Christmas was coming up and so I put the candy I just got last night back into this bag and then I try to sell it back to the people that just gave me the candy for free on Halloween in my neighborhood and they all laughed they all laughed they didn't they didn't take any of it and so after that we went to a craft show and that's really when we saw the idea of treating cards how my mom saw the potential she saw my drive she knew that I wanted to make money and eventually we got that Xbox. <laughs> so how did you get the treating cards from that, that show? Did you think about, did you see someone else putting candy of, with a card? Or? Yeah, I was thinking of greeting cards. Um, and then I'm like, well, what do people like? People like cards that are, you know, fun and all that. And they like candy. So I'm like, two great ideas. I just thought, why not mix them? And that's when we got the basis from it. And then later on, I started getting more into the actual card itself. But we still had that plastic baggie of candy. And like... My brother, he just came into the room, and I'm like, we're all stuck. It's me, my mom, and somebody we hired to work for us. We have no idea what we're going to turn this baggie into. My brother's like, well, it's not a gift unless you put it in a box and wrap it with wrapping paper. And I'm like, that's it. Like, you just got to put it in a box. And so now that's where we got our idea from, the box and the card and everything. So what was the first candy greeting card? Because you guys have a variety here. I'll show a few. Um, uh, there is a, this I love actually, this is when life gives you lemons, demand to see life's manager. And there's actually lemon heads in it. And you have kind of a theme with each of them, but what was the first one? And, you know, it's hard to produce one and you guys have a variety of them. It was a piece of paper stapled to a plastic baggie. It was the OG, the original greeting card or treating card. And it was very basic. We just printed out a picture we saw online, thought it was funny, printed that piece of paper out, took a plastic baggie, not much bigger than my palm, put it with a couple pieces of candy and just stapled it. That was our original treating card. And so what's the most popular couple that you have now? Actually, they're right behind you. These two, our shark card and our birthday blowout. And the blowout was actually designed by my brother. And this blowout card yeah. went to a, uh, go on to win an award. Really? By judges, yep. That's great. So That's you, great. did you custom make these, the images? Yes, and we the custom make the images, we design the images, we do everything all by ourselves in this image. Wow. Mm -hmm. So what kind of people, what are they using it for? These cards? I mean, the, obviously they're buying it for birthdays. Are there any uses that, um, that you didn't expect people to use it for? Um, mainly as gifts. 
a lot of people, they instead of uh, buying like a present or something, something that's much more cheaper and expensive, and it comes with candy. So for like younger children, I mean, that's like great. I mean, you have their favorite thing, candy and a card. Maybe you put like, maybe like $10 in here for them or something like that, and you just ship it to them. Like, that's what I thought was great. I thought it was going to be like an add-on item. Like, I didn't know it was just going to be something by itself. That's what I thought was pretty impressive. So, James, how do you find time to do this and everything, school, and, and what, what else do you need to do, like Call of Duty? <laughs> I'm more of a Halo fan now. But, uh, well, usually when school gets out, um, my mom and the person we have working for us, her name's Margie, she's like a lot of help to us. This couldn't become possible without her. And they, I just see them working in the office, and I'll just peek in every once in a while and see, hey, how's things going, what's up? And they'll, they'll tell me if I need to get in here, if I need to work on something, and we'll just get it done. So what's like a day-to-day, -day, what are you spending your time on? Uh, you know, weekends, a lot of Xbox Live. <laughs> uh, you know, I just, I don't want to focus like on innovating new product or oh, yeah, cars or like what's I mean, your I'm role? I'm trying to keep it diverse from not becoming like too much like my dad and already in the business world, but also becoming a kid still. And usually when we're after school is, or at night is when I get like most of my ideas. And we always take ideas for a card in the most unusual ways. Like I'll be, just be overhearing somebody talking and then I'm like, boom, card. And one of them, actually, I got from one of my friends trying to insult me. It, we were playing around still, but this was a couple of years ago when I was a little more chubbier. And he's like, you got like a witch's cauldron looking stomach. And so I think of like, oh my God, that could be a Halloween card. Like basically saying, it's like too much candy, you get the witch's cauldron basically. It's like this, you get the ring on belly. And like just from dumb stuff like that, we get all these great ideas. And like, and sometimes from just my brother's crazy, ins like crazy insanity, like this card we were, the bubblegum card. He's just like he was five at the time, and we, he, Margie was pulling up pictures of pugs, and he's like, "What if he just put a bubblegum bubble in his butt?" And I'm like, "Check." I'm like, "This is not. We're not doing this." But then like, we 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 went through with it and actually got an award. So we're like, you know, just sometimes, you know, <laughs> the pure and the innocent ch children just get like the best ideas. You know what? Until I look closer, I didn't even see that was his butt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, so, what are some of the challenges of the business? Um, really just being small right now. We, we got 75 stores, so we're not insanely small, but we're still, compared to like other... Where can people find you guys? Uh, you can find us in Dallas, Texas area. Like, we have some at Fuzzy Wigs Mall. The mall in Fuzzy... There's a store called Fuzzy Wigs in our mall, and that has about a couple of cards in there, and those sell for about $10. And then we have a mail-in copy shop near... I think it's near like a Sylvan Learning place, and that place we can you can sell for about eight dollars over there. Can they get them online? What's the what's the yeah, site? Of course, of course. It's treatingcards.com, T R E E T I N G, dot com. Uh, so treatingcards.com. I missed out the cards. My bad. Treatingcards.com. So, um, what do people? What do these these run? The blowout ones. The what do, what can the they get them on? Place. They're all the, they're about eight ninety five. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, what else? What's the future right now? What are you working on? Uh, a lot of holiday cards. Uh, we don't have a lot of holiday cards. A lot of them are just in, you know, mind stage is what I like to call it, where we don't really have it down on paper yet. But we're getting a lot of, like, I would say complaints, positive criticism over here in the booth about you need holiday cards. Holiday cards. And so that's definitely going to be our number one objective is holiday cards. As soon as we get back, we're going to just have, like, everyone come together, our whole team, and we're just going to talk about how we need holiday cards. And really, how we get these cards, we just brainstorm for a ton, a ton of time. We just brainstorm. We all come back together and share our ideas. So what's been a proud moment for you that you were just from, you know, stapling a piece of paper to a baggie? So now, what's been, been a, a proud point? I would say our proud point is coming to the show. That We actually made it into such a show with all these great companies here. Like all these, were, I guess we went from this, like, from the normal, I guess, average craft show to now we're in the big leagues type of thing, and it's just like crazy that I never thought we were gonna get this big. To be honest, I thought we we're gonna kind of stay a small local thing, but like just to get here and to be next to all these fellow company owners, it's just a great experience. Congrats! Everyone should check out treatingcards.com. Thanks, James. Thank you so much. What I got, you can't buy. 